Introducing the Mesa Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. This module demonstrates a double major curve correction using a dual rod correction technique. This correction technique features the Mesa Deformity Spinal System. The Mesa screws are low profile implants. The screws feature zero torque technology, requiring no torque for final locking and when locked, have no profile above the rod. Polyaxial screws are anchored proximally, and deformity uniplanar screws are used throughout the rest of the construct. Deformity crickets can be used to reduce the rod and translate the spine. The deformity crickets allow for 27 millimeters of controlled reduction and allow for spinal correction with the rod outside of the screw head. Place your deformity crickets bilaterally on the upper part of the curve. Insert both rods through the crickets and secure the remainder of the crickets on the construct. Depending upon surgeon preference, place the hex rod rotation wrenches or vice grips, both shown here, either at the top, bottom or both ends of the rods to rotate the rods into the proper sagittal alignment to begin to translate the spine. Capture the spine by fully reducing the crickets at the two most proximal vertebral levels to start your foundation. To fix your foundation, reduce the crickets on the distal vertebral bodies a majority of the way. Make sure the vertebra is as level as possible. Note, some surgeons may prefer to fully reduce this level. During the correction, it is important to make sure that the rod stays in the proper sagittal alignment. Tighten the remaining crickets until they kiss the rod. Next, fully reduce the crickets on the neutral vertebra. In this case, it is T11. This will provide a good foundation point during axial derotation. Note, if the rod is too proud to reduce fully, reduce it partially. Place rotation tubes on the neutral vertebra. The lumbar correction is first. Place the rotation tubes on all five lumbar levels and connect them with the transverse couplers. Hold the neutral vertebra steady and rotate the curve in the opposite direction, applying a downward and lateral force on the convex side and a lateral force on the concave. Note, avoid pulling up on the rotation tubes as they may disengage from the crickets. Working at the distal end first, gradually reduce the crickets on each level working outside in towards the apex. If additional segmental correction is needed, hold the adjacent level and derotate the level further. Then fully tighten the cricket to hold the spine. Reduce and fully tighten all crickets on the lumbar spine. Now the lumbar spine has been corrected. Disengage the rotation tubes from the lumbar spine, keeping the instrumentation on the neutral vertebra. Move the rotation tubes and transverse couplers to the apical levels in the thoracic spine. Make sure the crickets are reduced at least halfway before axial derotation. Using the neutral vertebra as your foundation, Rotate the curve in the opposite direction, applying a downward and lateral force on the convex side and a lateral force on the concave. Note, you may need to reduce the crickets on the convex side further so they touch the rod after derotation. Gradually reduce the crickets to spread the forces along the construct and to avoid point loading any one screw. Fully tighten all crickets on the thoracic spine and remove the rotation tubes and transverse couplers. Compression and distraction may be necessary. Loosen the cricket, distract, and retighten. Repeat the same sequence on the opposite side with compression. The goal is to get the pedicles parallel with each other to level the top. Finally, use the superfly to partially lock each mesa screw. Remove the crickets and final lock the screws with the quick locker to complete the construct. The Mesa Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.